How to poll students in Zoom meetings. One of the best ways to get immediate student feedback is to poll your students during class. Zoom has a built-in polling tool that you can use to post questions to your students and get real-time feedback on their responses. In order to use Zoom polling, you need to turn on the polling feature in your settings. Click Settings and then choose In Meeting Basic. Scroll down until you find the polling feature and turn the polling feature on. After doing this, the polling button will appear with the other Zoom controls at the bottom of your Zoom meeting screen. How to create poll questions in advance. You must schedule a meeting before you can create a poll. Once you've scheduled a Zoom meeting, go to your list of upcoming meetings. Find the meeting that you'd like to add a poll question to. Click on the meeting topic and then scroll down to the polls. Since you won't have any polls listed, you'll have to add a poll. Click the Add button. Click on Add a Question. You have the option for single choice or multiple choice. I'll go with single choice, and I've placed all the answer choices in this space below. Press Save to save your poll, and your poll will show up in the list of polls. To launch your polls during a Zoom meeting, click the polling icon in the Zoom meeting controls. Select a poll, and when you're ready for the poll, click Launch Poll. The top of the poll window will turn green when the question is launched, and a timer will show how long the question has been open. You can also see how the students have responded on the chart. Click End Poll to close the question. If you want your students to see how they responded, click Share Results. If you want to end the poll, click the red Close button in the upper left-hand corner. If you want to share another question, click the poll title to open up the list of polls. Create more polls as needed. Click Add to create more polls. The polls you create will be listed at the bottom of the meeting page. Polls can be edited or deleted later. That's all there is to it. Watch my other videos on Teachers Taking Attendance in Zoom and Teacher Settings for Zoom. Thanks for watching.